Welcome to Mission SK. Today we are going to see about constructors. It is one of the important topic in class in C++. Actually constructors is to define proper initialization of an object. Let us go into the topic straightly. I am just creating a file called constructor.cpp using VA editor in Ubuntu. As usual we should begin with header files include IO stream <coughs> and I am using the namespace std to declare the scope resolution operator equally to everything <coughs> and I am here using a class called college. My thing is to, my objective is to initialize an object as if we are doing in other data types for example in float we should initialize an object inside the class. Opening the class and I am just giving two variables int number of students <coughs> and number of staffs. <coughs> and to call the and to declare the constructor, it should be always declared inside the public cursors. As we all know before, by default it will be private cursors, but to call the constructor, it should be public cursors. I am just, this is a syntax to call the constructor college, inside which we are writing the, we are declaring two variables apart from which we declared that. To, as I am going to write an integer value, I am just giving a data type integer int. So I am giving, our objective is to initialize an object. So I am initializing number of student into student. Similarly, number of staff into staff. So that I can call, I can give the values, pass the parameters in my main function. I just completed one of the a constructor also as a similar type of a member function. We all know it's a special member function. Why it is called special? Because it contains the same value, it contains the same name as if a class. If you noticed here, this college, which is similar to the class name. So this is general syntax of constructors. I can't sharing the same name. We have just given the values. We can pass the parameter value using a special function called constructor. To display the value, I am using one more member function called void display. It's one of the member function. the void display, I want to print the value which I just got inside the college member function. <coughs> I am just getting the value of, here you should note one thing, I am just printing number of students, not the students. Means I am just calling the variable which I want to pass. It's, it's often good to give endl at the end because it acts similar to underscore backslash n means it gives a new line character. As I said in win, win command, vim editor, it's easy to copy and paste. No need of construct, no need of control c or control v. It's just enough to press the middle button of the mouse after you selecting the particular thing. Now, after calculating giving the values for students and just calculating the values for staffs. How many number of staffs are there? <coughs> so we have just finished two member functions and just closing the class with a closing brace along with semicolon, along with a colon. Now in the main function, 
I'm just using <coughs> usually in another classes we will be declaring the class say class name and declaring the class name along with an object but here we are declaring the class name along with an object so that we can give pass the parameters along with it so I am giving the object name call along with the class name college so I should pass two parameters which we have declared here and we said that it will be equal to number of students and number of stars so I am just giving 400 as number of students and 40 as a number of staffs which we should expect in the result so to get displayed I am using the second member function void display to call that member function I should use an object so we have already created an object called call col along with that I am giving a display member function <coughs> so we expect the result as 440 let us check how it's working out. we just made a mistake at the line 27 and 28 let us rectify it using the way as I said before it is good to use set number so <coughs> that you can trace out the thing 27 and 28 we have forgotten to insert a colon here has no member name display again there is a You got a correct answer now. Yeah, we just got printer number of students as 400 and number of staff as 40. What we expected. So again, going back to the program, this is a simple program to create the constructor. I'm summing up. We have created a class with two data mem with data members, and after that we have created a two member function. One is a special member function called as constructor, which is used to initialize an object. The second member function display is to display uh, display the values we have got it's a normal member function and finally we were calling that member function in the main main program using object this was the concept of class constructors in class thank you